and today we are going to be doing a seated upper body workout, okay? So I've got my, my tins with me, I've got my peach slices and my chopped tomatoes. So feel free to go and grab some, um, some weights or some tins if you don't have any weights. Um, so let's just get started. So to warm up, what I'm going to need you to do is put your weights on the floor and you're going to roll those shoulders back. And as you do this, we just breathe in and breathe out. Deep breath in and deep breath out. And really just roll those shoulders around. Nice job. Nice big circles with the shoulders. Good. Okay, then you're going to go the other way. Remember to breathe nice and deeply. And by doing this, we're just moving those shoulders and lubricating the joints so that they move nice and fluidly. Good. And then back. Remember to breathe consistently as you're doing these movements. Good. And we're going to go forward again. So forward with those shoulder rolls. Nice big shoulder circles, lifting the shoulders up and dropping them down. Lovely job. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to contract our shoulders and tummy in and then push our chest out and bring our shoulder blades back. And we're going to do the opposite. Nice job. And push back. Okay, so I'm going to give you a side angle. Contract in and push out. Contract in and push out. Lovely job. So you're just going to keep doing this. Keep breathing. Breathe in as you roll in. Breathe out as you push that chest up. And breathe out. Good, we're going to do four more. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. Two more. I can see something in the corner of my eye. And out. Okay, so we're just warming up that chest area, warming up those shoulders, getting some more mobility going in the back. Okay, now I want you to open up your arms nice and wide. We've got our feet flat on the floor. We're going to slightly twist just the upper body, just a slight upper body twist. Okay, keeping the hips facing forward and just moving from the middle of the spine. Lovely. And breathing again. Breathing as you do this. Lovely job. Okay, and relax those arms. Bring those shoulder blades back and forward. This time a little bit more vigorously, okay? We have a quicker movement. Good, really warming up those joints, warming those muscles up so they can contract faster. We can tell our body we're about to do some exercise so the oxygen is being transported to the areas that we're working. Arms open, and then we're gonna just twist again. Twisting from the mid part of the spine, opening up that chest and upper back. Good job. Okay, relax those arms down. We're going to lift our right arm up, and we're going to pulse our arm. Lovely. So pulsing that arm there. Good. Just hold that there. Warming up the muscles along the arm. They connect to the shoulder. Arm there. Good. So moving from the shoulder, keeping it nice and upright. If you can't lift your arm up this high, that's fine. Just li lift it up as high as it feels comfortable. Good. So that might be here. That might be here. We all have different mobility ranges. It's okay. Okay. And then we're going to swap over to the other side and we're just going to pulse that arm. Good. And we're moving from the shoulder. We're not moving from the, we're not doing this. We're not bouncing a basketball. We're moving from the shoulder like a nice bird with our wings out. Good. Deep breaths in, deep breath out. Sitting up nice and tall. I want you to remember to sit up nice and tall. It's really easy to do this. Try not to do that. Sit up nice and tall. Good, and we're going to pulse this three more times. 
and rest. Good. Now we're going to do the exact same thing, but with both arms at the same time. So both arms out to the sides, and you're just going to pulse those arms. Good. Sitting nice and tall, moving from those shoulders, and deep breaths. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good. Should be getting warm. Mine are burning. Okay, we're going to hold this for 10 more seconds. Really try and keep them up there. Or here, wherever your mobility reaches. And relax there. Good job. Okay, we're going to now pick up our weights or our tins or our cans or our water bottles, whatever you've decided to weigh. We're going to wriggle our bottom to the edge of the seat so that we're nice and stable. Our feet are flat on the floor. This is going to help us with our posture. Okay, so to start off, we're going to do some bicep curls. So these are the biceps here, these muscles that do the lifting. Okay, we're going to keep our elbows nice and close to our sides. And we're going to lift up and all the way down. We're going to control that movement the whole way through. Okay, I want you to remember to keep your palms facing the ceiling whilst we do this. Extend the arms down and then crunch them up. Good. Lifting up. And down. So you can see that my elbow is staying in the same spot. It's not swinging around, it's stuck there. And this basically makes the movement more effective. Good. Okay. From this position, I want you to now turn your palms in. So your palms are facing inwards. And we're going to do the same action, but this time our palms are facing in. Nice and tall, stay nice and tall. Good. Contracting those arms and control it the whole way down. Going all the way down and all the way up. Keeping those elbows nice and still. Lovely. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. Controlling that there. Okay, so there are first movements. We are going to do eight reps. Eight repetitions of exercise one and eight repetitions of exercise two. And the difference is, is they activate two different muscle groups. Well, not muscle groups, but two different muscles in the arm. So around this area, okay? So we're starting with our bicep curls, our palms facing the ceiling, shoulders back, and we're going to lift those arms up and control them back down. Lift them up and down. Good. Okay, this is halfway, we've got four left. And then we're changing and we're facing our palms in. Good, last one. And then palms in. And now lift and drop. Good, keeping those elbows still. So if you're finding this quite easy, that's good if you're a newbie, that's a good place to start. If you'd like to progress this a bit more, I'd suggest using a heavier weight, and that's gonna really, really target those muscles, okay? Okay, we've got one more, last one, and rest there, okay? So there are our bicep muscle group, that's our bicep muscle group, and we're targeting those muscles so that we can, be, we can keep strong, so we can keep lifting things up and keep moving them. We've got exercise two now, so exercise set up two. We're doing our lateral raises and our frontal raises, so, we're bringing our arms up, relaxing them down, bringing them forward, relaxing them down. So it's really important that we also have a nice tall posture so that we're using these tummy muscles down here, okay? Feet flat on the floor, shoulder blades pulled back, we're lifting out to the sides and we're going to do eight of these reps, okay? Nice and tall. Three, good. Four, and just, you're bringing them up to as high as you can. You might not be able to bring them this high, that's okay. Just as high as you feel comfortable, or as high as you can. And one more, last one, and rest. Okay, we're now going to bring them out in front of us. We're going to do eight reps here. So our frontal raises, good, that's two. We've got six left, staying nice and tall. That is four, okay, we've got four left. You're doing really well. Four. Three. Don't swing those arms. Keep them nice and controlled. Last two. And last one. 
palms facing down and rest there, lovely job. So what I want you to do now is we're going to incorporate those four exercises all together. So our bicep curls, our hammer curls, our lateral raises and our front raises, okay? So we're doing eight repetitions of each. Okay, bicep curls to start, let's go, one. Good, nice and controlled the whole way. Stay nice and tall, deep breaths, four left. And last one, now we're moving our palms inwards and lift, good, eight here. Good. Remember to breathe, that's four. We've got four left, four, three, two, last one, and then our lateral raises. So like our birds, lifting up and relaxing down. Good, eight here. Stay nice and tall. Okay, we've got five left. Last four. Remember to breathe. Good, two. Last one. And rest there. And now we're going to the front. Front raises, good, you're doing really well. Keep going. Lovely job. Okay, that's our halfway marker. We've got four left. Four, three, control that movement. Two, and one. And rest there. Well done, so that is the first part of our upper body session done. Good job. Part number two, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be doing some endurance training for the upper body, okay? So, a bit more pulsing, a lot more breathing, and working for longer, longer amounts of time. Okay, so we're gonna to stick to those movements, but this time we're changing them slightly. So we've got our bicep curls, but here we're just going to pulse up like this. So they're not moving through that full range, they're just staying here, pulsing up, good. Holding that there, nice and nice and right angled. Okay, so you're staying with that right angle, just moving across it slightly. Good, you're doing a really good job. Deep breath in, deep breath out, lovely. Okay, we're gonna hold this set there for another 30 seconds. Keep pulsing, stay nice and tall. Good, you've got 15 seconds left. Good, well done. Pulsing here, staying up tall. This is gonna help with our posture as well. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Okay, four, three, two, and rest there, lovely job. Okay, we're going to do the same with our hammer curls and pulsing down, look, lovely. It's like we're making a cocktail, but in really slow motion. Nice, okay, we're gonna hold that there for another 45 seconds, you're just pulsing there. Right angle, elbow nice and tight by all sides, moving them up and down. Good job. Shoulders back. <sighs> Lovely job. Okay, you've got 30 seconds left. You're doing a really good job. Hold that there. Keep it moving. Keep that pulsing there. Nice and tall. Last 20 seconds. Good. Keep smiling while you do it. I know it's tough. Five, four, three, two, and rest there. Lovely. Start to feeling it in the back. That's good. It means you're working those, those postural muscles that keep our back nice and tall and elongated. Right, now we're going out to the side. So this is going to be one of the hardest ones. I want you to keep your feet flat on the floor, shoulders back, lifting them out to the sides, and we're going to pulse here. Good. Deep breaths. And nice and long deep breath. You want to keep, you want to hold those breaths for as long as possible. And out when you can't breathe any longer. Good. Holding that there. Really tighten up that back. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Bring those arms back in. That's really, really good. We're gonna repeat that whole process again. We're only doing half the amount of time that we did for the biceps because the weights are further away from our bodies, which means it's harder on our bodies, okay? 
Deep breath in. We're going to do that again. Arms out. Deep breaths. Let's go. And out. Good. Expand the chest. Relax the chest. Whilst you're doing this, good. Stay nice and tall. You're doing really well. Keep those feet flat on the floor. Back to nice and long. Holding for 10 more seconds. Pulsing there. Lovely job. Three, two, and rest. Oh, wiggle those shoulders around. Okay, we're on to our last exercise, okay? Arms out to the front. We've got our weights, our maracas, okay? Our cocktail shakers, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> okay, so we're going to lift that in front of our weights out in front of us. Deep breath in. And pulse. Good. Keep that shoulder, those shoulder blades back. Moving from the upper part here, okay? Moving from there. Doing a really good job. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Lovely. Oh, okay, we're gonna hold for 10 more seconds. You're doing really well. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Roll that neck around. Good. Roll those shoulders back and then the other way around. Oh, stiff. Okay, we're going to repeat that one last time and then you are done your beginner's upper body seated session. Okay, so bring those arms up one last time and we're going to hold this there for 30 seconds or as close to 30 seconds as you can get. If you need to break and jump back in, that's absolutely fine, but just really try and persevere. Deep breath in. Deep breath out, lovely job. Good, keep it moving, keep it moving. Okay, 15 seconds left. Lovely, keep it going. And rest there. Oh, roll those shoulders around. Okay, we're gonna place those weights or our um, weight substitutes down and roll those shoulders back. Just keep them moving. Doing a really good job. Okay, and then the other direction. Lovely. And relax there. Good, I want you to give yourself a big hug. Oh, and say, well done, body. You did really well. Lovely. And then arms out to the sides and back as far as they can go and just squeeze them there, push the chest out. Breathing. And relax the shoulders, good. Okay, well done, you've done such a good job. That was a really good workout. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned some information from it. I hope, I hope you've learned some new exercises to take away and do at home and to do in your own life. I hope you have a lovely, Day and I hope to see you at the next video.